And now at five, changes at IPS are starting to sink in for parents, teachers, and students. The district is planning to close and sell Broad Ripple High School. IPS is also converting Northwest and Arlington into middle schools by the fall of 2018. Call 6 Chief Investigator Rafael Sanchez is live tonight with the reaction from the teachers union. Rafael. Hey, Melissa, good afternoon. There's a real fear among teachers that they may, because of job insecurity, that they may begin to leave their jobs over the next few months, even though this plan would not go into effect next until next year. I just got off the phone with the president of the IPS Teachers Union. She's traveling in Boston tonight, and this is what she just told me a few moments ago. I don't know how, how I can stop the bleed except for telling them to hang in there. But I think that's the question IPS needs to think about. How can they stop the bleed? What are they doing that continually causes us to lose teachers? So you're hoping to... That is the teachers union tomorrow night at six o'clock right here. The IPS school board will begin to officially discuss that proposal. They'll also begin to hear from the public and parents either praise or pushbacks. Oh, let's go. Hey. The Arlington High School fight song is on the lips of graduates who are among the most vocal to save their alma mater. While their concerns were heard, Arlington is slated to be closed as a high school in the fall of 2018. But it would reopen as a middle school for about 500 7th and 8th graders. The building would also house the school buses currently at John Marshall. Then there's Broad Ripple High School. It's slated to be closed and sold. The building in the middle of a robust neighborhood and business district could sell for about six to eight million dollars. The other school facing a new direction is Northwest High School. The plan says it would also reopen as a middle school for about 600 7th and 8th graders. The West Side building would also house the district's maintenance division. Also on the radar are two schools that the district lost in a state takeover due to poor academic performance. If the private operator running Howe and Manuel High Schools decide to return the buildings to IPS, IPS says it will close both Howe on the east side of Indianapolis and Manuel on the south side of the city. Can't make choices. Before the plan was released, people on Tuesday lashed out at the administration with a visible protest. They will now have two months to get the school board to reconsider before they take an official and final vote in September. So those savings from the closing and the changes would save IPS about $7 million a year. But, Melissa, here is a reality check based on the current student population this year and even for next year. A task force found that IPS only needs two high schools. The district is hoping to at least keep open four high schools in the future. We're live downtown. Rafael Sanchez, RTV6. Rafael, thank you. IPS just announcing the dates for their meetings on the future of those high schools. The first is set for Tuesday, July 18th at 6 p.m. That will be held at the Broad Ripple Magnet High School for the Arts and Humanities on Broad Ripple Avenue.